Cade declined invitation to Sandringham Christmas after giving William Major ultimatum. Prince William invited his then-girlfriend to the important royal family gathering before his graduation from Sandhurst, an invitation she declined. Prince William and his wife Kate, Princess of Wales, are expected to be among the senior members of the royal family joining King Charles III at Sandringham this Christmas. The couple will be joined by their three children as they celebrate the festive season, with Prince Louis, four, reportedly set to join his family on the infamous walk from Sandringham House to St Magdalene's Church for the first time. Kate spent her first Christmas with the royals after her and William's wedding in April in 2011, ten years after they first met at St Andrews University. However, according to a royal biographer, the Princess of Wales had previously been invited to a royal festive event but chose to decline. Tina Brown, author of the best-selling biography The Palace Papers, previously claimed that William invited his then-girlfriend to a Christmas party at Sandringham in 2006. Before graduation, from the Royal Military Academy Sandhurst, William had issued his girlfriend the coveted invitation to join him at the Queen's annual Christmas house party at Sandringham, she wrote in the book. Kate, reflecting the confident mood of her Philip Tracy hat, maintained her resolve that she would not go to such a significant royal family gathering unless she had a ring on her finger. Ems Brown added, she declined. William met her decision with silence. Instead, the then 24-year-old retreated to Scotland to stay with her parents, who had rented a house in Perthshire for the holidays. That same year, Kate reportedly refused the first-ever invitation she received from the late Queen Elizabeth II to celebrate Christmas with the royal family at her beloved country estate. Battle of Brothers, a book written by historian Robert Lacey about the royals, particularly focusing on the relationship between Prince William and his younger brother Prince Harry, claims that when the monarch extended an invitation for Kate to attend her traditional Christmas lunch, the future Princess of Wales declined. Like Hems Brown, Mr. Lacey claimed Kate wanted to wait until she was engaged before joining in the royal family's Christmas festivities. She would go to Sandringham on Christmas Day only when she was engaged and had a ring to prove it, the historian stated in his book. Having met as students a year earlier, Kate and William moved in together in 2002 with several other university friends and made their first public appearance together in 2006 while attending the wedding of Laura Parker Bowles, the daughter of Camilla, now Queen Consort. Following a brief split the following year, in November 2010, William and Kate announced their engagement. The prince had got down on one knee during a trip to Kenya a month earlier, and gave his future wife the ring she had been hoping for. Today, the princess wears an oval sapphire engagement ring that previously belonged to Diana, Princess of Wales. Kate made her first appearance at Sandringham for the royal family's Christmas celebrations in 2011, eight months after she and William wed at Westminster Abbey. Despite being an unofficial member of the royal family for over ten years, the then Duchess of Cambridge revealed she was nervous about her festive season with the in-laws. Speaking on the 2016 ITV documentary, Our Queen at 90, Kate said, I can remember being at Sandringham, for the first time, at Christmas. And I was worried what to give the Queen as her Christmas present. I was thinking, gosh, what should I give her? She continued, I thought, I'll make her something. Which could have gone horribly wrong. But I decided to make my granny's recipe of chutney. I was slightly worried about it but I noticed the next day that it was on the table. I think such a simple gesture went such a long way for me and I've noticed since she's done that on lots of occasions and I think it just shows her thoughtfulness, really, and her care in looking after everybody. On Christmas Day 2011, Kate made her debut on the walk to the church service at St. Mary Magdalene Church on the Sandringham Estate. Wearing a berry coat and hat, she showed no signs of nerves as she greeted the crowds who had gathered to get a glimpse of the royals. Since 2016, William and Kate have spent both Christmas Eve and Day with the royal family at Sandringham, with the exception of 2020 and 2021 when the festivities were cancelled due to Covid concerns. Before that, the pair would alternate between spending the days with the royals in Norfolk and with the Middletons in Berkshire. 
royal expert Katie Nichol told OK. Last year that Kate's willingness to spend Christmas with the royals instead of her own parents is a sacrifice, because Christmas is a very big thing for the Middleton family. She continued, but they put the Queen first and make sure that they are there on Christmas Eve and Christmas Day at Sandringham, saying the Prince and Princess of Wales put duty before self and we can see that, more now than ever. This Christmas will mark the royal family's first without both the late Queen, who died in September and Prince Philip, who died in April. The festivities are set to be the biggest in years, with the family gathering at Sandringham for Christmas for the first time since 2019. King Charles reportedly wants to maintain a sense of continuity and honour his late mother by spending the festive period at the Norfolk estate and continuing her beloved traditions.
in September, and Prince Philip, who died in April. The festivities are set to be the biggest in years, with the family gathering at Sandringham for Christmas for the first time since 2019. King Charles reportedly wants to maintain a sense of continuity and honor his late mother by spending the festive period at the Norfolk Estate and continuing her beloved traditions.